Gliders, and today I'm going to teach you how to manual. So it's a bit windy out, that's why I was uh, pumping a lot. But anyways, uh, I made a how to manual video about a year ago. And it wasn't the greatest because I was beginning at them. You could see that I barely did it, but now I'm really good at manuals. I did this on my first try. I did manual as long as I can now because I've got my balance point. So the first thing when learning manuals is you're going to want to know your balance point. Usually tall riders, tall riders usually have a high balance point. I've noticed that with my other friend. And short riders like me usually have either a low balance point or a medium. I could have any balance point I want, so if you're gonna have a high balance point, you're gonna wanna usually people with a high balance point they don't lean enough, so I'll show you what really really low like about here you're gonna want to lean lower so I'll show you what that looks like and uh, yeah just uh, the lower your front wheel is the lower you're gonna want to uh, lean on your bike the higher you go the less you want to lean Personally, I recommend getting uh, either a low or a medium balance point because that way it's easier to control. You have more uh, room with your knees and your uh, bump. You could all like, it's pretty much like humping your bike. That's how you balance. It's all with your legs, a little bit of your elbows and hands too. Uh, make sure when you pull up on the manual, make sure you pull up evenly with both sides because if you pull up with this hand more than the other, so your bike is going to tip. You're gonna manual, it's gonna wobble. That doesn't look good. You wanna keep it as centered as possible. So, also, another tip is for manuals, you don't wanna go slow, because if you go slow, it's gonna be harder to balance. You're gonna wanna pump more. So, when I go slow, you're gonna see me pump a lot. I'll show you.